with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, let's get right to what's closing many schools across the tri-state as we speak tonight, and that is the dangerously low wind chills. And we are just really beginning to enter the most dangerous period here. Feels like it's seven below right now in Cincinnati, but by tomorrow morning, it could feel as cold as 25 to 30 degrees below zero. Again, record-setting and brutal cold settling in for the next 24 to 48 hours. Here's Power of Pavlov radar. Not a lot of snow left out there, but there are still a few snow showers and snow squalls remaining, particularly scooting out of parts of Boone. County and the southern Campbell County over towards Piner. This will slide over towards Morning View, for example. And then as we head on over farther east, and then over towards Brooksville near Augusta, some snow showers back over towards Maysville. These snow showers, much like pop up summertime storms, will go away once the sun sets. So within about an hour or two after about seven, most of the snow should be over with. It's really on to the next page here, and that is the brutal cold sliding in. A wind chill warning in effect for the entire WLWT viewing area. Here's kind of what you want to know about the cold. Wind chills to 30 below, certainly possible overnight tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. That will be the most dangerous and most critical time period. Again, late overnight and first thing tomorrow morning. And yes, for many of us, this will be record setting cold. I think we're dropping to about nine below tonight. So, a very frosty looking scene here as we look out to the west. Matter of fact, this is one of those snow showers, and you can see there's not a lot of them out there, but a few of them around. Right now at the airport, it's 11 degrees. Feels like it's seven below with a northwest wind at 18. While the winds will relax some overnight tonight, the temperatures, though, are still going to be well below zero. So, any breeze out there is going to help send those wind chills way down. Right now, the winds are up there between 15 to 20. They'll back off closer to about 10 overnight, but that's still enough to Produce those wicked wind chills. So, wind chills to 15 below by 7, by 9 o'clock to 20 below, and by 11, wind chills could be as low as about 25 below in a few spots, with temperatures falling back close to about zero. So Arctic air is pouring into the tri-state tonight. A matter of fact, you can really follow this Arctic air, if you will, from 11 in Cincinnati to 2 in Chicago, 8 below in Marquette. And then once you get north of the border, notice these widespread 15 and 20 degree below temperatures. I thought as an interesting contrast, and hey, one of our viewers pointed this out earlier. How about this? It's 43 degrees in Calgary. You guessed it. You're right. It's warmer in parts of Alaska than it is right here in the tri-state tonight. Futurecast shows those flurries and snow showers going away overnight. Clear skies, a fresh snowpack, perfect ingredients for a frigid night. Expect partly cloudy skies tomorrow, and there could be a few more stray snow showers around. There should be less than today, and then tomorrow night looks to be even colder than tonight, if you can imagine that. So nine below for a low tonight with wind chills 20 to 30 degrees below zero, and then tomorrow barely above zero, only for an hour or two, I think. Four for an afternoon high. Here's a look at your day planner. Tomorrow morning, starting out at seven below. At lunchtime, we will likely still be near zero, if not below, at two below at noon. And there we are, briefly topping out about three tomorrow afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. 13 below is what I'm forecasting tomorrow night. Just in case you're wondering, Mike and Sheree, the all time coldest temperature at CVG at the airport is 17 below. So that gives you an idea of just how record setting cold this cold will be here the next 48 hours. The good news is that it warms up into the 40s by the weekend. Kevin, thank you. Take a look at this here. Kids weren't the